Hey guys and welcome to a, another video here on G You Can't Play, a uh, channel where we test out crap strategies, see if it's something you might want to give a go, see if it's any fun, see if we make money, see if we lose money. Um, today we are going to be playing on the pass line um, and uh, this is a video I saw on CEG. Um, well, part of the strategy anyway, and I thought it was quite interesting, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we are playing the pass line. Uh, if the pass line wins, uh, we're then going to use those profits to play odds. Uh, and then if that wins, we are going to increase what we're playing on the pass line. Um, if that makes any sense, we'll play it. It'll make more sense when I play it. Um, it'll allow us to see the system in play. So um, let's just get straight into it. We'll go through 10 shooters as usual. Uh, this is a system where you can play with very little money. Uh, it's a $10 initial bet. And as we say, you want about 10 shooters, which means you only need about $100 to play this system if you want to. So yeah, really good. It's something that I'm interested in because I'm a low roller myself. Um, so let's see if we have any sort of success from this. And the goal really is just to keep building up that pass line. That's when we're going to start making money. If we can get some lucky rolls, uh, if we can get this pass line number up to quite a high number, then we can make some good money off it. Um, so we're really looking for sevens while the puck is off, so pass line winner. Just like that. Um, so the way it works is, so we're now up $10. So what we want to do is we're going to use that $10 to place odds. So once a point is established, we're going to then use that $10 to place odds. So we're using our profits to, oh, there's another winner. Lovely, that's what we want to see. We want to see sevens and we want to see elevens. Uh, basically a dream start for us at this point. Three winners in a row. That is what we like to see. Right, point established. So now we can set those odds. Now, we could use more of that profit. So we have $30. We could go $30 in odds. So we could use it all if we wanted to. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go $20 in odds. Uh, that way, if we do end up busting, we're back at our starting stack. Um, this is all about using profit to profit more. So we're going to take that one of those $10 and see what we can do with it. Okay, so let's get started. So what we want to see is we want to see a repeat of five. That would be ideal. There's a nine. See if we can hit that five. Six to eight. Let's go again. There's a ten, hard ten, two fives. Another ten. We wanted to see that, but with the five, that would have been nice. Let's see if we can get this five. There's a nine. All the numbers on this side at the moment the eights, the nines, the tens. It's a 12, two sixes. Six, we're one off. Decent little roll. Let's see if we can get that five before the seven comes. And there it is, it's the five. Cool. So, what we do now is we've got that $40 in profit. We now want to raise up our pass line. So because we profited quite a lot, normally you just double it. So 10, go to 20. Um, we could go more if we wanted to because we had those extra odds. Um, the 20 paid 30, so we had that extra little bit of money to play with. 
but I think what we're going to do is we're just going to be taking our profit um, and building up. It just depends on how aggressive you want to get with it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go up the 20, use our winnings. There we go. Um, so what happens here now is we are not going to be placing odds because we didn't win any money to be able to place odds. So now we're just waiting for a four to come. So yeah, interesting little strategy. You really need to hit some, oh, there we go, lucky, we hit the four, perfect. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that $20 win and we're gonna pop it on here. So we're using our profits to increase our bet. Uh, as I was saying, uh, we don't place odds unless we win while the puck is off. So seven or 11, we use that money to place odds. If a point is established before that happens, we don't place odds, we're just hoping for that point to hit again, and we use that money to build up our pass line. So that's how it works. So as you can see, this is the third stage, 10, then 20, then 40, doubling it each time. Uh, and if we go on amazing roll, you know that just keeps getting bigger, we just keep making more and more money. Uh, obviously, we want, there's a point where we want to start taking some profit. If we were to lose now, we've still got the same um, profit that we took from back earlier so there has to be a point where you take your winnings um, and that might be a case where here if we win so if a six comes again we get 40 we might only put another 20 on top so we'll take another 20 dollars of profit we'll bump this one up to 60 or if you want to be aggressive you just put the 40 straight back in it's um yeah picking your points and, and sort of choosing where you want to take that profit uh, that's one of the good things about craps is you can play a strategy how you want to play the strategy. There's the seven, so we lost, but that's okay. We made $50 off that first shooter. It's not a terrible um, turn for us there. Two, one, three. If we were playing the don't pass, that would have been good. Unfortunately, we're not. So you can play this on the don't pass as well. It's definitely an option. Okay, no seven or 11. So we're just playing the pass line at this point. Uh, and if you're someone who wants action, you wanna be doing things the whole time, probably not the strategy for you, but you can play another strategy while you're playing this one. So because we've just got the, the pass down here, you might wanna place the six and eight uh, while you're waiting for this one to pay off. And then each time you get the seven or 11, then you're back into playing this system so it's really up to you uh, 10 but yeah we're looking for lots of points to be hit we're looking for seven and elevens while the puck is off that's really what we want um, and this is really a pretty luck based system you know we want good rolls And there's a seven. We want a good roll where we can get this pass line built up several times. That's where we're going to make the money. It's the long rolls. There's 11, excellent. So now if the plan is point, the point is hit, we can um, play some odds. And it's on the six, which is good because that is a number that has a decent likelihood of hitting again hard 10 there although all the numbers are pretty even at the moment although no twos yet but everything else is two to four there's a repeat of 10 let's get that six so we can build up and what the odds are going to do is that's going to be our profit so what's going to happen is if we hit the six we're going to win 10 here we win 20 here, we're going to take that, we're going to put 10 on top of this. So by hitting that 7 or 11 before the point is established, that's giving us an opportunity to make that profit. Um, you can always use that profit and pop it on the pass line. You might want to do that in the first instance of this if you want to be aggressive. 
uh, but we're going to take it as a profit because we lost a few times. We're down to, to $20 up at the moment. So number 10. We've had a few eights. We want to see that six. Don't want to see the seven. There's an 11. Let's see if we can get this number. Hard eight. The eight's the popular one this time, not the six. So three, one, four. We've had some decent rolls, which is always good. And there we go, there's a six, lovely. So as you can see, this one 10. The odds 10 played 12. So what we can do is we made a profit of 22. We're just going to double this one and we're going to take that $12 as profit. The other option is you could put it, as I said, you could put it back in and have this at 30. There's 11, excellent. So if we get a point established, we're going to be playing odds again. That is what we want to see. And there's the point, six. And we won 20, so we're putting in $20 of odds. Uh, and the way it works is depending on what the point is, the odds will pay different. So you'll see um, you get paid more on the four than you do on the six. Uh, the reason for that being there's less combinations of four than there are of six, so it's harder to hit. So you get better odds on that. There's an 11. Let's see another six, please. So we can lock it a bit more profit. There we go. There's a six. Perfect. So there you see, 20 paid 24. And we got the 20 from here. So we're going to take the 24 profit. We're going to bump this up to 40. And now you can see. So what you could do here, if we pull down, we're only into, we've only gone through two shooters, shooter number three, sorry, three shooters. Um, we're up $126. So, I mean, if you've got a $100 bankroll, you've more than doubled what you started with. So um, it's all about managing and how you want to play. If you just get a gamble, then obviously you keep going. If you're wanting to make a little bit of money, then this is probably the time we can say, well, you know what? I've doubled my money. Um, let's make a move and, and off you go and you've made yourself 100 bucks. We're obviously going to keep playing because we're testing out a system. Uh, and even if we do lose, lose this one, we're still up $86. So, But we want to see another 7 or 11. No, 12, that's a loser. That's the worst case scenario there. Um, and what we're going to do is we reset back down to 10 and start again. So yeah, I mean, you do have to get pretty lucky. You have to get a long roll to um, have this one pay off. So no odds there. So we're just playing the pass line. Hit the point straight away. Perfect. Take that $10. Pop it straight back in. Uh, also, if you want to get out of the hand, you could always take that first one as profit. Um, it makes it harder to make more money in the long run because that's an extra roll you're missing out on. But you would be out of the hand and, and playing with the casino's money if you did that. So that is definitely an option. There's the 7. Unfortunately, we placed the 10, which is a lower probability of hitting. And let's go again. Seven, it's a winner, excellent. Means we're gonna be playing odds. That's what we wanna see. And we're out on the five. And we'll pop $10 on there. Um, so we'll see the difference in payouts here. So when, if we can hit the five here, we'll see what it was. When we were on the six and the 10 paid 12, we'll see what the five does. Hopefully we can hit it before that seven comes. And then you can see the difference in payouts. Nope, we're not going to see it, unfortunately. There's the seven. And yeah, this is a definitely a system that can work with a lot of sevens as long as the puck is off. Um, but if you get a lot of point sevens, it's going to burn through your bankroll pretty quickly. So we're up to shooter number five now. Halfway through. Still up 
for fifty dollars. Up fifty percent of our bankroll. Remember, I was saying you can play with a hundred dollars. We've got fifteen hundred here just because that's what it starts with here on Crapsy. Um, but you can play this system with a hundred dollars. Couple of fours there, and there's a six. Lovely. Take that money. Double up the pass line. Let's see if we get a seven or eleven here. No, another six. Repeater. Happy to take one more of those. Let's get three in a row. Six, six, six. Two, one, three. Unlucky the point was established, otherwise, we would have lost our pass line. Hard 10. So, with the pass line, a 7 and 11 is a winner when the puck is off, the 2 and 3 is a loser. Uh, and it's the opposite on the don't pass. The 2 and 3 win on the don't pass, the 7 and 11 lose. It's a hard 4. Craps. Two craps. Uh, 12 of this, we've got hard 10, hard 4, a 2 and a 12, or the doubles coming through at the moment. There's a 9. Let's get that 6. Three, one, four. Four, one, five. Making our way up, let's get the six now, four, five, let's get a six. Let's not skip it. No, we're gonna to jump to the ten. Let's go again. Three to five, close but not quite. Let's see if we can get this number six to eight. Wrong side. Another decent roll. There's a two. Our average is up over 10 rolls, which is higher than the normal average, which is around six to eight rolls. And there's the seven, unfortunately no win there. And let's go again. So yeah, fairly passive system, this one. Um, looking to get these sevens or elevens on the come out roll before the point is established, because then we can use that money as odds. Unless that happens, a two or a three is a loser, but we did win and loss, so we're going nowhere. And the seven's winning us some more, lovely. Now let's get a point, please. Eleven, another winner, so we can put 20 in odds. Or we can take it as profit to get out of the hand. And there's the point at a ten. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use all of our profit as odds. Um, you also want to look at maybe not the best idea because the point is a 10. If it was a 6 or an 8, maybe you want to put more odds on because those numbers are more likely to hit, whereas the 10 it's less, so you might want to take the $10 profit. But I've gone all in on this one. Hoping to see another 10. Take advantage of that. And there we go, there's the 10 paid off. So 20 pays 40. So as you can see, the 10 pays double, whereas the six and the eight only paid uh, 1.2. So if I had, if it was on the six or eight and I had the 20 there, um, I would have won $24. Whereas on the 10, I ended up winning $30. So. Uh, so what we're doing is we're taking that as profit and we're just doubling this one. So the 10 that we won on the pass line, we're going to put that back in. The odds that we won, we're taking that as our profit. Um, as the numbers get higher, we might do a bit of both. There's an 11, excellent. So we got $20 we can use for our odds bet. And we're out on the 10 again. And we'll pop those $20 in here. Um, yeah, so it's really up to you whether you want to use this money to boost this up quicker or if you want to take some profit. 
I like taking some profit, locking some, some gains in. There's another 10, lovely. So 20 pays 40. So we won 60. We're taking the 21 there, putting it in here, and we're taking 40 as profit. Uh, so as you can see, with this out in our rack, we've got $166 profit so far. And we'll play again. We're out of the four, so we're not playing odds this time. We're just hoping for another four to hit so we can build up our pass line. Uh, and what we might do here is take 20 as profit uh, and put 20 bids up to 60. Or I might just put it all in and go straight up to 80. That's a decision that will be made at time of hitting if we are lucky enough to hit another four. There's an eight, five, three, eight. Repeater, five, three, eight. Three, two, five. Just give us a two, two, four, please, or a three, one, four. Either one I will take. There's the three, one, four, lovely. $40. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I am just going to put it all back in. So we're going to build this one up to 80. Um, and the reason for that is we've already locked in 166 in profit. I'm doing well, so I'm happy to risk that extra $40 here. We're out on the 9. So no odds again this time. Now you could also... Play it both ways. You can put twenty dollars on here and twenty dollars on odds if you wanted to. So yeah, you can use that that profit how you like. It's really up to you. I think if this one manages to hit, if we get another nine, uh, I'm going to take half of it as profit. So I'll build this up to one twenty, and I'll take that forty dollars. Hard four, sorry, hard eight followed by hard ten. Let's roll again. It's been a good roll, this one. There's the nine, lovely. So there we go, 80 pays 80. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put another 40 on there. So we're going to total this up to 120. And we're going to take $40 in profit. And let's keep going. Um, another option, I was about to say, is once this gets up higher, depending on your uh, willingness to risk it, you could come back down and reset. So we could have taken that down and just started again at the ten dollar level lock in a little more profit uh, it just really depends on how much you want to gamble uh, but there we go unfortunately we've got the 12 which is a, a loser on the pass line and we're starting from the beginning again but we are up a couple hundred dollars overall and we've had a lot of long rolls, so I don't think I'm going to go through 10. I think we've seen how the system works quite well, so I think we'll make this one the last roll. 314. We have been through over 100 rolls. Uh, big average, 10. 628. That's not what we want to see. We want to see the 9. Peter, 628, and 7 out. Okay, so I think we've um, had a good look at how this system works, so we will leave it there. Uh, just to go through it again, um, what we're doing is we are playing the pass line. So you start with $10. If a 7 or an 11 was to come while the puck is off, that is a pass line winner. So 10 pays 10. What we do is once the point is then established, we use that $10 that we won to place odds. What we want there is we want the point to hit. Uh, and what that means is any of the odds that wins, we take that as a profit. And the pass line, we double that up. So uh, if we had 10 here and it wins, we win 10. So that becomes 20. Uh, and then it's just a rinse and repeat. So any time a 7 or 11 comes while the puck is off, we're using that money to place odds. If the point is established before a 7 or 11 comes there, 
then we're just playing the pass line as normal. Uh, if the point then hits, we keep doubling this one up, and then it's that opportunity when we can play odds, that's where we get our profit. Uh, you can obviously modify that how you want, how you feel like playing. It's a good thing about crap strategies is you can do what you feel best. Um, but yeah, great little low uh, bankroll strategy. You can come in with $100 on a $10 table, pop down $10 at a time, um, and as you can see, we ended up almost $200 up in that. So pretty good return on our go through six shooters. So thanks for watching, guys. That was, um, I guess we'll call this one Build the Pass Line. Uh, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Catch you later.